Hey, what's up, what's up? It's Devin Coates. <clears throat> Thanks for tuning in to the channel. I'm trying to get this video up real quick before I go to work, start getting ready. Um, this one is just uh, get back on the horse, you know. Just get back up, keep trying. Again, forgot who had that song. But, um, yeah, let's just jump right into it. This will be a quick one. It's just, uh, you know, change is hard and life can be difficult. You know, like, even for me, I mean, with this whole channel, I'm really kind of confused with the whole direction of it, um, what I'm doing exactly. And the last couple of weeks, I actually have been having a lot of trouble putting up videos, getting more content, figuring, <clears throat> figuring out what I'm going to have to do to keep this going. But, I mean, you see me, I'm back. I'm trying to stay consistent. And I'm trying to get back to my routine, you know. Everybody's going to fall back, have good days, bad days, good weeks, bad weeks, <clears throat> other things going on, you know, I'm definitely not, this is not a real form of income at the moment, um, I still work, I gotta do other things, somebody hit my car, <coughs> um, paying bills, <clears throat> just everyday grind, whatever, socially, friends, relationships type things going on, you know, it's a lot. And especially when you're trying to change your life and what I'm trying to promote in this lifestyle design of making a life of intent is going to be difficult, you know. And as I said before, success is messy. So it's like when you fall back, you need to get back on the horse. And it's not like I'm some guy that's got this crazy routine, crazy schedules, everything written out perfectly that I follow to the dot because like one, I'm a person, but Two, and the reason why I'm starting this now before I've really accomplished a lot is like, I, I'm just starting out. And it, it's like, when you go to the, the weight room, if you're working out, you know, the first time I went to the gym, I remember I was benching the bar. Like, when I was back in middle school, my brother had me over there, I, we're, I'm benching the bar. And then I was benching, I think, I max, well, not, I didn't really max out with him, but like, he's putting 10 pounds. And then maybe we would do 25 pounds. So I'm doing 95, almost 100 pounds. But it's like, you got to start somewhere. And to think that you're going to get everything right the first time, the first routine you write out, the first idea you have is going to be perfect and going to take you, skyrocket you to the top. You're, you're kind of fooling yourself. You're going to fuck up. You're going to mess up. You need to get back on the horse. You need to try again. And you got to keep trying again. I'm sure I'm going to fuck up again. I was trying to stay on a three video a week basis and that hasn't been turning out I mean even the type of videos I'm putting out, I'm changing that all the time trying to refine and improve but it's really sticking with it sticking with the long haul fighting through this pain period because there's a lot of procrastination that goes on which is really just fear and that's a big thing that's been coming up over and over and doing these uh, videos has definitely helped me self-reflect a little bit because I have a lot of fears that I got to work through to get me to do the things that I really want to do. I need to judge my output in future moments more correctly because sometimes I think that I can put something off and then I'll do it all at another time and that really just doesn't happen. So this video all really is about just getting back on the horse and you fuck up whatever it is, whatever you're doing, whatever you're putting off, whatever... You stop doing it. Maybe working out because it's a big thing for a lot of people. You know, you, you missed a couple. Weeks. Well, get it back in the gym one time. Get get a good weekend, you know. And then that could just be the catalyst to get you back. But really, I'm going to end on this part. It's like whenever I look back on these things, at least for my personality, it's that I'll be beating myself up and spiraling further down. But when I just change the pattern and get back into it, when I look back, on the whole group of time like maybe I had some bad weeks but if I look at the whole year it's not like I had a bad year the whole year was filled with the ebbs and flows of this you're feeling good you're feeling bad you're feeling good but if you can keep it moving towards the good when you look back it's going to be good and it, as you get older and older and let that compound interest happen you'll get better and better and the good will be more and more so I'm at step one. I'm just starting, trying to get better. So I wanted to let anybody know who's feeling overwhelmed. You see all these people.
doing all these great things. You can't stick to your own schedule. You can't stick to your own routine. You're having tr- get back on the horse. Get back up. Keep trying. And get it right. Peace. If you liked everything, forgot to throw this in there. If you liked everything, like the content, please click the like button. Please click the subscribe button. Uh, throw some comments in the bottom. Let's get a dialogue started. Till next time.